State officials say it's still too early to know whether another percent will come off the state's grocery tax. A new law reduced the 4% tax to 3% this September. It's set to go down to 2% next September, contingent on 3.5% education budget growth. But as WDHN State Capital reporter Matty Beer Temple explains, the education budget has not shown that growth. Legislative Fiscal Officer Kirk Fulford presented to the state's new Grocery Tax Study Commission today. He showed that the October revenue receipts to the state's education budget were down about $74 million, or 14% compared to the year before. The decline comes after significant growth in 2022 leveled off. Fulford says the ETF budget grew just 0.11% in fiscal year 2023. This may very well be the new normal, and new normal is below, obviously, where the, the high growth period was. But Fulford says that's not reason for alarm. October is just one month into the new fiscal year, and he says it's hard to say how much the state may bring in over the next several months. Uh, again, way too early to try to, try to guess on something like that. Commission co-chair Senator Andrew Jones sponsored the grocery tax cut bill. He says the group will monitor the revenue receipts, continue to meet, and eventually make a report to the legislature in 2026 on how to fully eliminate the tax. We'll be watching and, and seeing, and our report, um, I think, by the end of this quadrennium, will detail how we can move on with our next steps uh, and, and hopefully tackle that next 2%. Now, if that 3.5% growth is not projected for fiscal year 2025, that next percentage will come off in the following year that the budget is projected to grow that much. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple.